Martini. I've been to the front again. Hello, dear. How goes the rat race? The rats are winning. Well, I have your martini already. Good. Yes, and Paul, I'm very glad you're home because I have something to tell you that shouldn't be a disappointment. I hope. This going to be a two martini story? If it is, I don't want to hear it. Okay, I won't tell you. Martha, what, what is it? Well, Barbara came home from college today with her degree. Oh, terrific. Uh, that's not the only thing she came home with. Finish this, you might need it. All right, Martha, out with it. Well, the other thing she came home with was a... Uh, a friend. So? A male friend. <laughs> oh, that's all right. She's 21. It's time she started thinking seriously about marriage and, uh, and things like that. Uh, she's past thinking about it, Paul. <laughs> she and this friend stopped off in Las Vegas this morning and got married. <laughs> married? Yes. You mean she eloped? Yes, isn't it romantic? That's not romantic, it's illegal. <laughs> Why, she's just a baby. <laughs> When'd you find out about this? Only this afternoon. Well, why didn't you call me? I was saving the good news till when you got home. If it's such good news, why were you saving it? <laughs> oh, he's a very nice boy, Paul. You'll like him. Where's Barbara? She's upstairs unpacking. And where's this very nice boy? He's upstairs in Barbara's room. My daughter's in her bedroom with a stranger. <laughs> Paul, dear, they're married. Now, uh, try to hold that thought. Well, I guess I should be grateful for that. Kids these days hardly bother with that formality. You forgot the vermouth. I didn't forget it. <laughs> okay, Martha. Tell me about our new son-in-law. Well, his name is Howie. I hate it. <laughs> Uh, apparently, he's something of a genius. Genius? Howie? <laughs> well, he seems to be a walking encyclopedia of knowledge. And uh, he's been around the world three times. Oh? Mm-hmm. Evidently, he's a very well-rounded young man. Barbara says he's out on the golf course every day. Every day? Yes, and he shoots in the low 60s. What do you shoot, dear? Keep talking. <laughs> Now, there's something else about him, dear, I know you're going to enjoy. He charts the stock market. And according to Barbara, he's almost never wrong. Never wrong? Uh-huh. He's rich. What's that, dear? Uh, nothing important. Oh, Daddy! Wait till you see what Barbara brought home. Is he heavy? He's fat? <laughs> No, that means he's groovy. Well, why didn't she say so? It took me a whole year to learn groovy. Did, did Mom tell you he's a genius? His IQ is 185. Mmm, all that and wealthy, too. Here he is, Dad. This is Howie. How do you do, Mr. Sims? How do you do, Howie? Nice name. Let's uh, toast the bride and groom, shall we? What do you have, Howie, Barbara? Uh, just a little wine for Barbara and myself. How 
Oh, he's a great connoisseur of wine. Oh, really? Here's one for Barbara. Thank you. And one for Howie. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you, dear. Okay, here we go. A toast to the bride. Here's to the wings of love. May they never molt a feather till my big boots and your little shoes are under the bed together. <laughs> Century quatrain. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> By the way, where did you two meet? At school in the library. Oh, you're a student, too. Well, not exactly. I graduated college when I was 17. <laughs> what were you doing in the library? Killing time. I was going through the dictionary to see how many mistakes I could find. <laughs> what, what's that? Well, if you're interested in Indian culture, I think you'll find this fascinating. <laughs> what, what is that? It's Xochi Quetzal, the Aztec goddess of fertility. Oh, it's beautiful. Don't touch him. <laughs> Howie says it's an absolute guarantee you'll have children. How lovely. Uh, Sally, why don't you go and do your homework? Oh, I'll cry, don't I? <laughs> well, make yourself comfortable, son. This is your home. That's very nice of you, sir. I certainly appreciate it. Well, I appreciate your taking the time to visit with us. I know how busy you must be with the stock market and... Uh... That's just a hobby. I chart stocks on paper, but I never gamble. Oh, oh. Well, you certainly are a well-traveled man. I understand you've been around the world three times. Right. I just finished the hitch in the Navy. <laughs> ah. Well, uh, tell me, Howie, what are your primary business interests? Until recently, I was with a national polling company. You own this company? Oh, no. I was a field employee. Uh, I went around making uh, surveys. For every questionnaire that was filled out, I got 50 cents. <laughs> That's another hobby. <laughs> That's my living. Early mornings I caddy. Didn't Barbara tell you? She mentioned that you were on the golf course there. <laughs> How are you? What does your father do? He's a butcher in Eagle Rock, California. Butcher. <laughs> are, you, are you feeling all right, Mr. Sims? You look a little pale. How are you? You have enough money to support my daughter? No, that's why we were so pleased when Mother invited us to move in here. Mother invited to move in? Oh, my knee's just locked. <laughs> Mr. Sims, I just want to tell you that I'm going to do everything in my power to make your daughter happy, because I love her. Uh, uh, let's go upstairs, Howie, and finish unpacking. <laughs> He's a caddy. <laughs> Martha, Barbara married a caddy. <laughs>